Intel recently launched their new 10th gen U-series CPUs, which for the first time includes a 6-core option. So let's see how well this new chip compares with the 6-core 9th gen i7-9750H, to help you decide which CPU you should get in your next laptop. Intel's i7-10710U, apart from having a lovely name, is a 14 nanometer 10th generation CPU. Just to keep things confusing, Intel has both 14 nanometer and 10 nanometer CPUs in their 10th gen lineup. The 14 nanometer chips are branded as Comet Lake, while the 10 nanometer are Ice Lake. The Ice Lake CPUs currently go up to 4 cores, while the 10710U is the first U series chip that goes up to 6 cores. U series CPUs are typically lower power parts for thinner and lighter notebooks, so it will be interesting to see how this new 6 core compares with the popular 9750H. Let's look at the differences in specs between these two CPUs. Both have 6 cores and 12 threads, 12 meg of cache, and are based on Intel's 14 nanometer architecture. The main difference is in the TDP. The 9750H has a much higher 45 watt TDP, while the 10710U has a 15 watt TDP, though this can be configured up to 25 watts by the laptop vendor if there's enough thermal and power headroom. This difference in power is why the 10th gen CPU has a much lower base clock speed. The single core turbo speed of the 10th gen chip is 200 MHz faster than the 9750H. However, its all core turbo speed when all 6 cores are utilized is 100 MHz behind. Now, here's the thing. The performance of either of these CPUs will in the end depend on the power limits that are defined by the laptop they're installed in. For the i7-10710U, I'm testing the MSI Prestige 15, and when under a CPU-only workload, it's capable of running up to 45 watts, so the same TDP as the 9750H. Technically, it can go to 50 and beyond, but PL1 is 45 watts, so this is where it settles. This will not always be the case. I haven't tested any other laptops with this 10th gen CPU yet, but I suspect this could be a best case. I've tested the i7-9750H both at its stock 45 watt limit, which some laptops do actually adhere to, but I'll also include results with the 9750H when the power limit has been raised to 60 watts, as some other laptops do this, and that's the case with the Clevo NH58 RDQ I'm testing with. Basically, it's not as simple as comparing two CPUs against each other, as power limits can play a big role. In this testing, I have tested both the 10th gen 10710U and 9th gen 9750H with the same 45 watt TDP, so the results are about as comparable as we can get. With that in mind, let's get into those results, starting with Cinebench R20. I've got the 10th gen 10710U CPU in the middle and the 9750H at the same 45 watts down the bottom. The top result is the 9750H once it's been boosted up to 60 watts which is more representative of what it's typically capable of. But as mentioned, it will vary by laptop. In this test, the 10th gen CPU was 16% ahead of the 9750H in multi-core. And considering that both have the same 45 watt power limit, this result surprised me. When the 9750H is boosted to 60 watts though, it's 8% faster than the 10th gen chip. The 10th gen CPU was 11% faster when it came to single core. This makes a bit more sense when we remember that it does have a higher single core turbo boost speed. I've also tested Cinebench R15 as many people still use it, so the numbers can be used for comparison. Anyway, the results are similar. The 10th gen chip was ahead by 9% in single core performance, but a much lower 4.6% increase in multi-core. Again, the 60 watt 9750H takes the lead by 7.7% in multi-core but was still behind in single core due to the highest single core turbo of the 10710U. I've run the BMW and Classroom benchmarks with Blender, and despite being a heavy multi-core test, the 10th gen CPU was again ahead of the 9750H when they both had the same 45 watt TDP. The 10710U completed the Classroom test 10% faster, and 12% faster for the BMW test. With the 9750H set to a higher 60 watt power limit, it's only just able to take the lead in this test. I've used Adobe Premiere to export the same 4K laptop review, and the 10710U was completing the task 5 minutes faster than the 9750H. Interestingly, there was no change to the 9750H even with the higher power limit. I was only testing the CPU here, GPU acceleration was disabled. I've also used the warp stabilizer effect in Adobe Premiere, which basically uses a single core to smooth out a clip. 
Interestingly, the 10th gen CPU was behind here, which I didn't expect, considering it should have a higher single core turbo boost speed. However, the results were consistent. Handbrake was used to convert a 4K video file to 1080p and then a separate 1080p file to 720p. With both chips at 45 watts, the 107-10U was 10% faster at processing the 4K file. However, when it came to the 1080p to 720p conversion, the 9750H was slightly ahead. The V-Ray benchmark uses the CPU to render out a scene, and the 107-10U was 6.6% faster than the 9750H when at the same 45 watt power limit. With the higher power limited 9750H though, it's able to come out 8% faster than the 10th gen CPU. The Corona benchmark also uses the CPU to render out a scene, and there was a similar result here, with the 107-10U completing the task 6.4% faster than the 9750H. With the power limit on the 9750H boosted, it's just able to claim the victory. I've used 7-zip to test compression and decompression speeds, and the 10th gen CPU was winning in both cases when it came to compression speed, but was slightly behind in terms of decompression. Veracrypt was used to test AES encryption and decryption speeds. This time, the 10th gen CPU was behind in all instances, though it was only by about 2% or so. Geekbench produced results a bit different to the other real applications. The multi-core score was lower compared to the 9750H, and the single core was a bit higher. So these results do make sense in the context of the clock speed of each chip. Here's a summary of all applications just tested. On average, over these 18 tests, the 10th gen i7-107-10U was 5.2% faster than the 9th gen i7-9750H, in both single and multi-core workloads at least when both had the same 45 watt TDP. Some of the results don't match what I was expecting. For instance, the warp stabilizer result at the bottom. I expected the 107-10U to win that as it's a single core test. Likewise, I assumed the Cinebench R20 multi-core result would have done better on the 9750H, given it has a higher all-core turbo boost speed. Let's investigate why the 107-10U was ahead of the 9750H in most of these cases. These are the average clock speeds of both CPUs during one of the Blender benchmarks. We can see that the 9750H was around 400MHz lower over all 6 cores on average when compared to the 107-10U. The 9750H was only able to match the clock speed with its higher power limit. These are the values for CPU package power as reported by Hardware Info while the same Blender test was running. The 9750H is basically dead on its 45 watt limit, as per the bottom bar then at the 60 watt limit once it's raised without issue. The 107-10U on the other hand was actually averaging a little below its 45 watt limit, at least in this specific test. This is because of the thermals. The 107-10U was thermal throttling in the blender test. As I mentioned earlier, U-series chips are generally used in thinner and lighter machines, and those typically have less cooling capacity. This will of course vary between each laptop, but in general, you'll find the 9750H in thicker machines with bigger heat sinks and heat pipes to keep it running cooler. Despite thermal throttling in Blender, the 107-10U was still completing the task faster and performing better. If we look at the total system power draw from the wall for the whole machine when under these same tests, the results are even more interesting. The 107-10U is using 20% more power than the 9750H in this exact same test. However, as we saw just before, according to hardware info, both were around their 45 watt TDP. I'm not exactly sure what the deal is here. The difference could simply be down to the changes in Comet Lake. My 10th gen laptop was clearly using more power to achieve its higher performance, as measured from the wall. The only change I noted in hardware info was that the 107-10U was reporting as using 4 more watts under IA cores. Anyway, the 9750H machine needed far more power to maintain its 60 watt TDP in this same test. And if you remember, it was only just able to beat the 107-10U like this. Even if the software is reporting incorrectly or there's some other architecture difference causing this, the 9750H needed more power from the wall to perform similarly in the blender test and achieve similar clock speeds. The fact that the 107-10U is competing at all with the 9750H honestly took me by surprise. When I saw its Cinebench performance when reviewing the MSI Prestige 15, I just knew I had to compare the two. Now, most laptops with the 9750H will run the CPU higher than 45 watts when under CPU-only workloads like these, but that's not always the case, it will vary. When both have the same power limit though, the 10th gen chip appears to be in the lead. 
The 107-10U is also more likely to be lower in other laptops, while the 9750H will pretty much always at least be capable of running at 45 watts. I should also note that no undervolting was done here, these are all stock results. And memory for both machines was 16GB in dual channel at DDR4-2666. Unfortunately I'm not able to test gaming at this point, as I had both laptops with completely different graphics. The MSI Prestige 15 had the Nvidia GTX 1650 Max-Q, and I've never had that in another machine so can't fairly compare. Pretty much all gaming laptops are based on the 9750H at the moment. It'll be interesting if the 107-10U starts popping up in these. Otherwise for thinner and lighter machines, with adequate cooling, the new 6 core 10th gen Comet Lake CPU can perform quite well. Let me know which of these two CPUs you'd pick and why down in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider getting subscribed for future CPU comparisons and tech videos like this one.